Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Let's try to discuss an issue, a trending issue currently between uh, Nigeria, America superstar, Afrobeat superstar, Davido versus the Nigeria government official. So apparently, Davido took the sum of 94,600 US dollars and ran away with it. So we can easily say he stole it. Or they can easily just show him and say, oh, he breached a, con a contract and ran away, he stole 94,600 US dollars. That is about close to 100 million naira, 94, 94 million naira, or just rough estimate, 95 million naira. You should convert it to Nigeria currency. So apparently, we can just, they can easily just say, maybe those stole the sum of 95 million naira. Because they paid him that money. He was supposed to show up at an event. He refused to show up at this particular event. Well, the guy who is accusing David O, his name is Sir Amadjo Picnic. He's the former boss of our NFL, Nigeria Football Federation. He hosted a concert at Delta State in Nigeria, Wari, but David O refused to come. David doing his infinite knowledge decided to be like, you know what, I'm not going to come to, uh, to this show. This show is, I don't know. I don't know why he refuses, but he didn't show up. 94,600 dollars. <laughs> and you still refuse to show up. Well, while at the show, uh, Amadjo Picnic decided to throw major shade at David Doe. Like he said, David Doe is not called Bonner Boy, called Bonner Boy the biggest artist, and David Doe is forming and everything. You know what? Let us listen to the video. You get it? It's only only contract, only contract. Let us see. $94,600 on the 6th of April. We get that he played. It's a, a, a transit that to Alija 605, $80,000. Then they But somehow, he said he did what? I'm not joking. So, what is it? I'm not joking. So, while he was playing his name back and forth, we decided to hunt and find out what. I'd like to thank Dami. Dami is the, is the manager of Shari Poppy. Mr. Nook, he did a lot in ensuring. That we have the hottest in the house. Yeah. But before then, I personally decided. You see, when people say they're big, I just laugh. The biggest art, artist in Nigeria today, not be Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy in a half is a girl. Bonner Boy is a girl. So he did pass out. Anybody think big pass RMD for the acting industry? Anybody think big pass uh, Alibaba for comedy? We are in a back to back with them. Anybody think big pass? On a clap. And for worry, I think go too far. To me, I like this town. I've always been saying it. Worry is the same thing. Anybody die for Lagos? Come here. Let us enjoy this town. Let us take the town back where we have Auntie's kitchen, Tamron Cottage. Every day, and the other place, many, many places like that. Even Johnny Roy. Guys, a major picnic, uh, the former NFF boss. Well, they said it outrightly. It's not as if it's a rumor. That's him. That's him. He's the one making such allegations. Pay David Doe the sum of uh, 94,600 uh, thousand. Uh, uh, dollars for him to perform. I paid him as at 6th of April and he paid another 18,000 to charter uh, a, a plane for him whenever he's ready. Okay, now I want to check when David Oson passed away because David Oson passed away earlier this year. So let me check the date David Oson passed away. Trying to check it out. Trying to check when David O's son died. 
Okay, sorry, let me do some that last last year. That is uh October thirty-first, twenty twenty-two, Banana Island. So sorry, David was so sorry, he died this year, he died last year. So April this year, David was already of, of course doing his stuff. So what actually happened now? Why didn't he show up? You know, he did an interview recently and he said his price has went up. When he was asked how much do he charge now, Pasho, he said currently Pasho is charging six hundred K dollars. And he decided to put it at 600 k because he doesn't want to be doing many, 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 many shows again. Just want to be doing like few shows because not everybody can pay. So just maybe they had an agreement. You know, they had an agreement that, you know what, you are going to pay me 600 or 500,000 US dollars, but you will pay a fee. You will pay part of the money that is not refundable. Yes, there are money you pay to artists, even seeking for that artist's opinion or seeking for that artist, going for that artist, like you want to book an artist, there's some money you pay to that artist getting booked on that date, it is not refundable. It's written in the contract, not refundable. So maybe there was a dispute in between or maybe they use third party, you know. Usually these people go through someone that is close to their David O. So them they might not tell them exactly what the contract is all about. David is charging 600 k per show. That is per show, 600 k per show. And that's according to him, but that is huge. When it comes to Nigeria, you do not charge that kind of money at least. You should have put it on 200k or 300k per show while in Nigeria. Now you are getting paid 94,600. I'm sure maybe that amount will have gone up to 300k, but they paid that amount of 94,600k. Uh, uh, they were also going to, going to pay balance of maybe 200 or something k, but there was a dispute. There was a dispute. Well, David Doe has not in any way responded to this yet, so we are waiting for him to respond. And also, he, he, if he doesn't respond, it make it look like ah, it's kind of like guilty, or maybe he's just running away with the money. That is why, as an artist, uh, if you want to book an artist, be extremely careful. Don't go through any road. They they have their management, their email, everything of how to get to them on their Instagram social media page. Just write them if you have money and book them. And honestly, it's not good. I will advise anybody who has money to book an artist. Do not book an artist and give him part payment. No, don't give artists part payment. Pay that artist in full already. Pay that artist in full and there will be a contract that he must show up. That is even way more better because that alone can you can get the artist to cut and refund all the money. But once you pay him that part payment that is not refundable, there is no way you're gonna get him to cut. That's why some of all those are uh, artists, they are well known for running away with people's money without even performing. Because in their contract, if you book them, they might they might see an unforeseen issues like maybe getting sick or accident or any issue at all or family member passing away and they need to be there they might just give that flimsy excuse not to come and that money you won't get it but once you pay them in full they will either come to that place to perform or they refund the money in full so please if you want to book an artist Make sure you read the contract very well. Do not just give money to someone. Read the contract very well and book. Book the artist full, pay full payment. There's no need to walk through any third party or whatsoever. Apart from, uh, because what they usually do is that, okay, if you pay me certain amount of money, if you pay me certain amount of money, uh, 
there is still other money that you are going to pay as well for flight, for accommodation, and security as well. Or there are artists who will tell you they will take care of the flight, the accommodation and security, but everything will be inside that money. If you have the money, you can just give them and say, yeah, okay, yes, but just that is what I will always advise anybody to do one to book. If you want to book any artist, just pay him everything and you know you have fulfilled your own part of the deal, it's left for them. Once you pay part payment, that part payment might not come back to you because they are not liable to return that money. Well, let me do this a big point. Uh, we already know that that ninety six, uh, ninety four thousand five hundred dollars is little money, little change. I don't know how the man will do to get his money back, but if there is uh, maybe a clause in the contract that says they you know must refund the money, that is good for him. But if there is not, see, that money don't go. And it's not going to reduce David's popularity at all. 